The Mazda CX-5 is a small SUV, but one that most enthusiasts will find to be a delight to drive, at least when they're forced to drive a small SUV. One reason that it's fun to drive is that the overall structure of the vehicle is so good, and here's an overview of how they achieve that. Hi, I'm Dave Coleman with uh, Mazda R&D, and I'm going to uh, walk you around this uh, CX-5 body in white here and uh, try to show you some of how we made this body stiffer and stronger and lighter at the same time. Um, this, you're looking at the bottom of the car right now. We've got the whole body rolled over on its side, hopefully in a position you'll never see it again. Um, and to understand kind of what we did, there isn't a single thing that we've done to this car to make it uh, lighter and stronger. It's a lot of small engineering decisions uh, sort of uh, added together. Um, so one thing we've done is uh, when you design a body, the first thing you do is you design around uh, the eventuality of a crash. If you crash into something, how is this going to absorb uh, that energy and take it around the passenger compartment and protect the passengers? Um, what we've done is we the crash load comes in through the front uh, frame rails there, and we try to spread it out through as many different parts of the body as possible. So the red areas here are uh, parts that carry a crash load, and you can see that we spread that load across three different uh, 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 frame rails on each side of the car. Um, on our older bodies, this frame rail used to be straight in line with the with the uh, front frame rails. But when it got back here, this is where the gas tank goes. It would have to do a zigzag around the gas tank. Uh, and zigzags are not a strong uh, shape, and we'd have to reinforce that quite a bit. So now we gradually bend around that, and that's a much stronger shape. We don't have to use as much metal to, to contain that strength. Um, another trick we do up in the front, the very first part of the frame rail to encounter a crash, uh, we have this, uh, the cross section is, instead of being rectangular, it's kind of a plus shape. It has this extra hump on it. Uh, and the reason for that is, if you look at the, the side of a rectangular section like it is back here, uh, if you imagine pushing on this, uh, it's, it's much, a uh, piece of sheet metal is not that much different than a piece of paper. It's just a lot stiffer. So if we look at this piece of paper and we push on it, it, it just bends, right? But it turns out when you fold a piece of sheet metal, uh, it gets a lot stronger. As it's folded, I can now push on it. So we put a couple extra folds in there, and that adds quite a bit of strength without, without adding any weight. So a square cross-section would be four corners. This one has 12 corners, so that's quite a bit stronger. Um, if we walk around to the uh, top of the car, you can sort of see from up here, this is a little bit of an awkward angle. This would be the top of the, of the driver's door. Um, normally the crash load would have been carried all the way through the bottom of the car. Not a lot of it would, would go around to the top because it's very difficult uh, when manufacturing uh, this shape to connect the, the structurally. Uh, it's difficult to make a strong connection in the, in the back of the car here. Um, the way that our, our robots are coming in here and welding these parts together uh, gets very awkward at, at, at times and we can't get the welds where we need them to be. So we have to carry all the load through the floor. Um, we've got some new uh, weld bonding technology where we use uh, welding and a structural adhesive together uh, to give us the strength in this area that we need that we can carry a large portion of the crash loads through the roof. And we d when we distribute the crash loads through multiple different paths, uh, each one of those parts can be a lot lighter. And so as a total, the, the whole vehicle gets a lot lighter and lighter weight means better efficiency, better handling and better driving. That Mazda CX-5 could turn out to be a hit for Mazda. They had planned on selling about 8,000 a month globally, but so far the sales rate is running at 20,000 a month.